Hi everyone, this is Jay here with jaysonlinereviews.com. In this training video, I'm going to go over um, how to build your email list using a WordPress blog. And what I, where I am now is I'm uh, logged into uh, Aweber. And what you're going to fir the first thing you're going to do is uh, obviously get a an email hosting account. I recommend Aweber, but Get Response is good. There's a bunch of um, good ones out there, but the two uh, main choices of internet marketers worldwide are Aweber and GetResponse. I recommend Aweber, but if you like GetResponse, that's fine too. They're both uh, they both work well. And there's uh, there's other ones that are good as well, but those are the two uh, top ones, like I was saying. But I'm using Aweber as an example. Uh, most of them should be similar. So I'm logged into my Aweber control panel here, and what you're going to do is um, click on the Create a Web Form link inside your Aweber control panel. So I'll click on create a web form and you're going to select your form type and they're going to give you a choice of, of templates and you're going to pick whatever template you'd like to uh, use to place inside your um, your WordPress blog. You'll get an inbox, uh, inline, light box, see what's selected inline right here and you have pop over, light box and pop up. The only two I ever use is the inline and the light box. The light box converts the best but some it's it, it annoys some people, but it doesn't matter. You're in this to make you know to make the most money possible from your blog. You're not in it to please everybody because if you please everybody, you know you're gonna make less money. So that's up to you. But I'm, what I'm showing you right now is the inline one, and I'm gonna go over and I'll show you the light box and show you what the difference is. Now this is the inline, and already it's already created. And what you do is you can click on it, click on the top of it whatever um, template you have and you can put in whatever you want here you know whatever words you want picture um, etc if you could put a picture in there it's a bigger web form that's even better so it stands out a little more but if you can't it's no big deal either just make it uh, you want to put it in a prominent place so, so just adjust your settings here put in whatever you want click save as you can see, I come up with this little web form here. When it's all set, you can adjust the sizes here, make it bigger by going to the right, holding down your uh, your left mouse button, and then going to the right makes it bigger. I need a small one for my uh, theme of my blog, so I left it um, pretty small because where it's going, it's got to be in the, you know on the smaller side. So once you're done with it, you're gonna click save your web form. Success, your web form has been saved. Go to step two. Then you're going to um, do the thank you page, but that's what you want people to see. Once they opt into your email, uh, into your email list from your web form, I always go with the smart video version because it shows a nice video and tells them what to do next. They need to confirm their email address because I always put them on double opt in. You get a better quality of subscriber. Uh, but you can do whatever you want here. You can do an audio version, uh, basic version. I always, like I said, I always do the smart video version. So leave that how it is. Go to step three. Click save your web form and go to step three. Okay, I'm, I'm done with step three. I saved my web form. Now what you want to do is um, get the code. This is an inline form, which means it's a static form. It's not going to pop up or do anything fancy. So next step is going to hit the JavaScript snippet, which is right here. You're going to copy that code, go over to your WordPress blog, and I'm using one of these, one of my blogs as an example. And what you're going to do now is, uh, depending on your theme, you're going to paste it wherever you want it prominently displayed inside your blog. It, depending on your theme, you either want it on the upper left-hand corner or the upper right-hand corner. So what you're going to do here is, um, this is the main sidebar of the theme I got installed. You're going to take, there's a text available widgets thing here. You can see, you can scroll down to text. And I want it on my main sidebar on the upper right-hand corner. Now 
All you're going to do is post your code right there. That's a code you had. Um, I told you to copy for your web form. Click Save, and that's going to be live on your blog. Once you click Save, it'll show up wherever you want it. Now, if you want it in your in your footer area, this is all going to depend on the way your theme's laid out. You can put it at the bottom of your blog, and that would be your footer area at the bottom of it. You can paste that same code there; it'll show up there. This theme has a single post sidebar, so when they're reading a um, particular blog post, it comes up. It'll show up in every um, in every blog post, and you can post that there. Same same philosophy: just drag that text bar over, drag it under the single post sidebar, and click save, and you're good to go. Now, um, I, I I definitely recommend to build an email list to I'm back here again to build a light box pop up for your um, for your blogs and what that's going to do is it's going to let me go over to my main blog here and get out of here and I showed you in the options that there's a uh, the light there's a light box and an inline you're going to want to do a combination of both of them I do the light box pop up set between uh, five and seven seconds, and you're gonna—it's the same philosophy as what I just showed you with the inline. You're gonna do the same steps, but you're gonna choose, but you're gonna choose light box, and you're gonna do the same steps in uh, pasting this JavaScript snippet inside your WordPress blog. You're gonna do the same. You're gonna paste it. Okay, let me give you an example here, real quick. Say so this is my inline right here, right? I went over there and I uh, created another one with a light box. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a text here. I'm going to put it on top of this one, my inline one, because this isn't going to show up anywhere. It's just going to pop up on your blog, so it's not going to intrude on what you did your inline pop up, your inline uh, opt-in form. Let's see, Let's say this is my light box code, the same as the other one. I put it there. I click save. Then it's gonna um, every time someone visits my um, any page on my blog, it's this is gonna show up and set set between five and seven seconds, uh, depending on whatever need you have. You can all you can do that inside your Aweber control panel. You can select the seconds when you're creating your uh, web form, um, whatever it may be in your case scenario. Like I said, five to seven seconds performs the best for me, but everybody's gonna be different. But that's the standard. I mean, you're probably going to get the most opt-ins set at five to seven seconds. So once you're done creating that form, using the same steps as um, the inline, paste the code there, click Save. Now, like I said, that's going to show up on every page of your blog. And not only going to, you're going to have that to collect leads, you're going to have your inline on every page of your blog. And if you can, uh, another tip I can give you, if underneath your blog posts, you you you, uh, you might want to put another inline inline uh, opt-in form so you can capture leads if they miss your um, any of the first two they don't sign up at the bottom when they're done they like your blog post at the bottom of that blog post they're gonna have another capture form there so you want to turn your blog make it look nice but you want to turn it into a list building machine because that's where most of your money is gonna come from is in your email list because the more visitors you have to your blog, the more opt-ins you're going to get. And most visitors that go to your blog are not going to buy anything. They're just going to leave. They're going to be wasted wasted traffic. So you want to turn as many of those blog visitors into subscribers as you possibly can so you can make the most money as you possibly can from your blog. So um, that's what you're going to want to do, and that's how you're going to create... Um, Email opt-in forms for your blog. Place them in the, like I said, up to the top right, top or top left, depending on your blog's uh, themes layout. Underneath your blog post, you want a nice opt-in form, and you want that light box pop-up because that really outperforms the rest of them by far. So if you got those three going, you're sending traffic to your blog, you're updating your blog on a regular basis, you know, at least once a week with uh, quality, unique content, 
it means it's not plagiarized from the internet. You're copying off somebody else's. Uh, you don't. You definitely don't want to do that because you're not going to get no rankings for that. Um, hire somebody to write a blog post for you if you don't have the time. You know, there's a lot of good outsourcers out there, like Elance, Fiverr, uh, places like that. I wouldn't recommend that. I recommend you do it yourself. But if you can't, you can always uh, outsource to get your blog going and built up to where you want it to be. But I, I recommend that you write them yourself at least once a week. And like I said, if it gets too much for you, it's a time limit, time thing, you can always outsource. But um, the main tip of this video is build your email list on your blog and put that form in as many places as possible so you capture as many leads as possible. And that in turn will make as much money, will get as much money out of your blog as possible. Because building an email list is where the majority of your money is going to come from. So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box um, below this video. And one more thing, I have 22 free ebooks I'm giving away on internet marketing and making money online. They're super high quality. They cover all different aspects. I mean, from Facebook, uh, affiliate marketing, uh, all aspects of social marketing, which would include Facebook, obviously. Um, Email marketing. There's a, there's a bunch of cool books you can grab. Um, down below this video and click that uh, link where it says click here. Go pick them up and um, enjoy them. There's some good books. So I hope you enjoy them. And they do come with PLR, PLR. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. Um, and that's it. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with a friend or family member if it helped you out. All right. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned a thing or two, and have a great day. Bye-bye.